What is up everybody, my name is Keaton and welcome back to another episode of my Let's Play on Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the previous episode, we just, uh, we just go outside at the, uh, let's just say we went to, uh, the Deer Track Heights. I, I forgot what it's called, but we did battle, we did battle with, um, uh, I keep forgetting the name, but you know what? Let's just say last time we did the battling, same as always. But but yeah, today uh, got some exciting news because I was playing this game my own time to level up my Pokemons, which which I which I wish I would be at like 55, which I asked my sister about it, but technically uh, um I I haven't got up there yet. But at least some of my Pokemons, there one of them are like at like. 15, 18, and uh, 17 right now. So, And another new good news, I got three of my Pokemon about to involve. So let's go ahead and just, yes, let's involve Quill first, and then we'll do Starly and Cynix. So let's do it. We now have a uh, Quillava. So we got Quillava with us now. All right, next Starly. Starly is now uh, Staravia or Staravia. <laughs> I don't know what word, but Shinix is what is up. Shinix is now Luxio. So there we go. Three of my Pokemons are now involved. So so yeah, that's that's all I got. And also, in case you're wondering, how did I got my uh, my Pokemon uh, Switch partners? Well, let me show you. Since I've been asking, I'm going to show you. Talk to Marie. So uh, do you have some Pokemon you'd like to leave here with me? And you could pick whatever you want. Wow, I got so many Star Lee here, which one of them is like three. Like, geez, I feel like I want to like throw them away or something. But um, I do have Poinetta, which I do want to I do want to um use her because it shows a female here. But I do want to use her maybe some other time my own free time because. She's right now at like level six, and I want to get more levels like all my other Pokemon's at. So back to your survey work, then keep it up. All right, thank you, Miss. Thank you, thank you, Marie. But yeah, so I was busy leveling up my Pokemon because I want to make sure I have much more as I can before I like. Okay, what's this lost and found? Oh, if we're, if I black on the field, oh, okay, if, cause after blackout we would lose some of our items, and we have, have to find a scatcher that someone else lost, okay. Alright, thanks for the advice. But yeah, uh, we're gonna go ahead and, uh, make our way back to, um, I forgot what it's called, but it's like we come, we come here to talk to, uh, Celine, which she was right there. So I believe, uh, yes, I think this is, yeah, this is the one. Oh, Lavington. Hi, I'll talk to you in a second. Let's investigate this. So there are requests posted on the blackboard, which one we can check. Oh, uh, we, we got like bothersome bit, bit of or Zubat's eye, so we'll do. So we'll do like that one. So a bit off key. Sneaking to the village and causing trouble. T 
talk to some McGee from the security corps. All right. See if they got any request for us that we could do. All right. And now we got Zubat's eyes, which we're going to do this one. Talk to the good lady. Investigate as necessary if you please. Which, alrighty, I'll, thanks for this one. No other requests. So that is all we have gotten. Which, of course, uh, I, alright, I want to, like, I want to switch over to, like, uh, where is it? Oh, mission to requests. Okay, so we got request. So, a uh, Starly, so show Starly to. Oh, okay. So I think that's what I I should probably do. All right. Which I'll pro which I'll go ahead and do that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch over my Pokemon right now, which I should definitely switch. Um, let me go back. So let's see, adorable Starly. Okay, so it's this one. Alright, so I don't... So probably in number 13 somewhere. Or is it more of this one? I think. I don't know, but... Hi. Uh... Alright, I'll... So... I'll move it right here for right now, but I'm gonna give it... A... But I'm gonna take it back here after I... After I do this. So, uh, Oh no, this is Andra, so... Alright, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an ore and berry, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corpse Boy. I, I was just headed out to the field lens to go gather tumble studs, but I haven't gotten as many ore and berries as, as I'd like. Are you familiar with ore and berries? They restore some HP to Pokemon that eat them. So as you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see, well, you see where I'm going with this? Throwing ore and berries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. With that in mind, could I trouble you to gather five ore and berries for me? Which I believe I do have some more. Which I got 87 of them. I feel a lot better having more or berries would you like be able to give would you would you uh, would you be able to gi give me just five of them and sure here you go i got 87 so i'll give you five of them i gratefully accept gosh i can't believe you went to the trouble of finding these just for me happy to help thank you gosh you're nice for someone who fell out of the sky let's just tuck these away in my schedule i won't let your kindness go to waste Wish me luck with those tumble stones. So very helpful is complete. Revive three of those. Uh, I forgot where they are, but uh... all right. So uh, am I okay? Where? All right. I'm trying to find. I want to find. Let's see. Report to the commando office in a galaxy hall. Okay. So it's so it's so it's in the office. Which we'll go ahead and do this. So let's enter back to the office so we can find so we can find. Okay, I think it's up here. Oh. I think it's Oh, there is this sir? No, that's Radius Ava. What do you but what's your request? Oh, splendid. You came along at the good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone, you see. Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure of the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm, but I suppose it'd be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself up actually. Oh, I've a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives on Geotrack Heights. It would be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it for me? I'll head home and wait for you there. Alright. Uh, I'll go ahead and do this part. I do have like three of them. I think I have another one. 
which I'm gonna go back. Like, I'm gonna keep go- I wanna keep going back just to make sure, um, see- see if I got more of them. Because I want- because I wanna- because I just wanna get it, and then, uh, that way I can give it- because I'll probably accidentally give away the, you know, the level 17 one, because I might need them, uh, to, you know, to battle. Like, yeah, I got two, and, and that makes it three, so... So I'll move you uh, right now, right here, right now. But I'll be sure to come back to, to I'll be sure to come back for it. All right, now let's go back. Cause I feel like today, this episode, I think we're gonna be going through with some request stuff right now. And oh uh, wait, are you? No, you're Shinon. Thought you're someone else. It would be nice. Which I want to find Commando. I think that's her name. But we'll see after we, uh, we'll see after. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, she's at home. I'm guessing. Yep. I, I didn't even know, but, uh, all right. <laughs> uh, all right, let's leave again, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, let's just get out of here right now. Uh, okay, no, you're not it. So, oh, okay, so I think this is it. This is the one that I'm looking for uh, to find. Oh, there she is. Oh, are you here to give me a Geodude? Uh, the answer is yes, which this one. Select. Are you sure you want to give up this Pokemon? Yes, I do. Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock, and it seems to be the ideal way too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young man. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some Scrubsha's pickles. <laughs> Just says dude. So we'll... Alright, honey cake and uh, candy S. Yes. Alright. That'll take care of this part. Now I can have it back to, like, the one that's at over level. Alright, another request, which I'm, which I'm, oh wait, that's a mission, what the heck, okay, so, so I'm pressing right now, so show starly to Mary Lee of the Supply Corps, alright, so, so I believe, okay, so this must be it, right over there, because I have one with me right now, so I should be able to, like, oh, there she there she is. I was looking for her. Oh, have you completed Starly's entry in your Pokédex? Hurry, let me read it. Hmm? What? Wait one moment. Male and female. Starly will have different appearance? Let me see. So the markings on their foreheads are different size. Incredible. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokédex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might... Finally, bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's there's not a Pokemon in the world so adored by a Starly, I tell you. Which, I do have it with you. Will you show me Starly? Yes. Which, wow, I got so many, but I'll give this one away. So here you go. The smooth curl on of the feather on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely, through and through. I adore it, down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. Let's see. Want to touch it? Want to pet it? I'll ask if you want to pet it. No! I, I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it, after all. Besides, it might let lose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps of, or Security Corps could actually do something so frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me this sweet Starly. Some people who will, some people will see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokédex might put them more at ease. All right. Well, at least thank you for the ten Pokeball. 
All right, so that's all we that's all she wants to see. So I'll go ahead and uh, have my other partners back. Let's see. Uh, nope. I think it's yes, seven, level seventeen. I'll move you right, uh, right here. All right, I'm just checking. All right, I do have Zubat with me. We'll put it right here right now. Alright, yeah, one of them is like, like thir 13 or something. Okay, so uh, let's see what we can do next here. Uh, requests. Uh, let's see, we got like mushroom cake marketing, which I need to find that. Let's see, bothersome. Hmm. Alright, I don't know, but uh. But I wanna do summit by Commander Kamado. Okay, I've been I've been saying that which I wanna find him. So uh, now I can go ahead and uh, just just head back to the office. Right there. <laughs> Pretty weird, I keep coming back in, coming back out. Coming back in, coming back out. I know, this is ridiculous. Sounds ridiculous. So, it, so yeah, it's all the way upstairs. It's where we're going. Oh, oh snap, we got two of them here. Well, I don't know if we're going to do a battle because... I should be good to go with with my Pokemons. One of them's like like let's see, eight, 18, 17, 18, 18, 15, 14, and yeah, just those. So hopefully that's good enough for battle. If we're gonna really do this, what do you intend to do about the Clevor Commander Commando? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adamin. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Clever is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is not? Is he not? That's not. That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly. We're a ward of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my if my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems someone's got to do something here. Who then? Would the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honored nobles? I don't believe I said that, though it may be. You might, you might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know who drove Lord Clevor into such a violent frenzy. I like to know that myself. This is the first as far as my clan knows too. I see you're arrived. This is Re, the newest member of our survey corps. Aha! I heard from Maya, you earned Wardeer's favor. Good to finally meet you, Strange from the Rift. I'm Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. But that's a mouthful, just call me Adamant. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to be reside? I'm Iridia, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a procession. Why not send this one to study Clevor before deciding what must be done? You send a stranger who supposedly fell from the rift to study Clevor? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing his use vastness without fear. Well then, there you have it. 
If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid his chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are. With all your weird ways, putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. That whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinel made his Juvas so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon, only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Re. I order you to study Clevor and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to be a very bone. The Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. Well, that's settled. Then there is no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods, clever as descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's power. No other Pokemon you've set encountered can compare to his strength. Be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition team has come to the Hizu region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us a true loopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl claims. Understood? Join me downstairs, Ree. We'll cover the details of this new mission. Alright. Let's do this, then. Yeah, it's on the second floor, which I have to, like... Which I have to keep going downstairs, is what it looks like. Oh yeah, there we go. That's what I'm here for. Ah, good. You're already here. Professor Laventon, the briefing if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Ree, I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Clever's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Clever is a mighty thing, nigh invincible even. The security corps... Tried throwing Pokeballs at Clever when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's a far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they reeled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. Very well, so let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl claims revere their nobles because they believe these Pokemon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokemon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find out what sorts of offering they normally leave for this clever. Re, we need to speak with you. Listen, that rate in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. That world might be where Almighty Zeno itself resides. The true Almighty Zeno, that is, the one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that, me that might mean you traveled through time by Almighty Zeno's own power. Think of it. You must have been just swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you. Oh, amazing time travel. Don't don't just study Clever. Quill his frenzy. Well, you, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamin. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Clever situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scorer I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of the knowledge with me sometime. Now... Let me obliterate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Clever. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask of those Galaxy team of all people for help. And the truth is, 
we and a Diamond Clane have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us, off in the mountains, has flown into the same type of frenzy as Clevor. Now there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've got we've all got to share his suit, and that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we got. You'll find Clever at Granty Arena. That's in the very heart of the Heartwood. His one his warden is a boy named Leon. Leon is a brilliant child, but also a bit well, sometimes Brilliance can be blinding, you know? He'll tell you all about this beloved Cleavor, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. He suddenly left quickly once he finished talking. I suppose he really vows his time. Adam and Mayo aren't, weren't wrong, you know? If you're to study and perhaps even Quill and Clever, you best start by visiting his abode. Our new Heights camp would be a handy place for setting out toward Granty Arena. And you should stop by the pastures too. You'll want to choose the best Pokemon to bring. Which I did that before. So thank you for that, Afkairi. So uh, let me see here if there's any request I can do. Because, yeah. Let's see here. So, music lover. I guess I'll do this part right now. Why not? Finding yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across. Stat, scat, satchel, always seeming full. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Alright, well, you could carry around even more in this satchel of yours. If you learn a trick in packing things in, I can teach you if you like. What do you say? Alright, I like your to be my, my teaching fee is in need. 100 gold, right? Alright, let's do this then. Perfect, then lend me your ear a moment. You've made space to keep one more kind of item in your satchel. That's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit into packing things, right, Lee? If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I could teach you. What do you say? I guess... Oh, 200? Are you trying to make me waste? You know what? No. There's time with a single extra item that can mean the difference between life or death, you know? Which I know there's like items that we that we have to like go through. Which I'll go ahead and uh, head outside right now. Let's see here. Um. Oh wait, is it that one? Okay, yeah, that must be him. Let's talk to you. You there, you seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me out with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you try to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. So without further ado, here's the recipe. Alright, so Pokeyish doll. So Pokeyishi doll for three of the logs. This is the recipe for what I've named Pokeyishi dolls. I invented them. You see, as special items that we could make in this village, I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking toward, um, or I'm looking forward to seeing what you come up with. All right, so we're gonna have to like craft this for him. So let's go ahead and start crafting. Oh, I don't have. Okay, well, how am I gonna get them? I don't know, but um. Hmm. You know what? I don't know. Uh, I, I I have no idea. But I guess I guess I'll go ahead and um, enter back in 
Because I'll probably go talk with Baggett to get another one. Alright. So, uh, go ahead and teach me. And then, uh, you got, here you go. So, uh, what's next one? Okay, yep. He's just saying the same thing. So, so uh, let's see here. Go ahead and teach me again. 300. I don't know how much, but uh, hopefully, but uh, hopefully, because uh, there's just so much stuff, I'm gonna have to keep doing this. I don't, I don't know how much, because I feel like I have to keep doing it. Like, hopefully, just a, a thousand, because if it's a thousand, that would, that would make much more sense. So uh, this time, five hundred, which good thing I have enough since I've been doing. Since I've been playing as my own free time, um, to level my Pokemon up. So, uh, 1,000. Okay, well, go ahead and take my... Yeah, just go ahead and take mine. Because I got so much stuff, I'm gonna have to keep doing this. So, uh, 1,500. My gosh, really? Are you for real? Like, he is serious about with a lot of, lot of money. Alright. Well, that's enough for now. I think we're good for today. Alright. So thankful about we already taking care of this part. So yeah, there we go. Some of my Pokemons are now leveled up. And as we were gonna come out there. So, how are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. I'll think nothing of it. Having to survey corpse out and about studying Pokemon is a great business for you now. Supporting you know is actually an investment in my own fortunes. And we obtained three super potion. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Which no idea where she's going, but uh we'll find out as we just get it we just head outside. Because uh we're actually gonna let's see. We do have we can now either go Fieldlands camp or Heights Camp. Pretty funny I said Cape, but this time I'm just gonna say the the camp. But but yeah, let's get to the the Heights Camp. And now we are here. I just have to edit this video out from like the long loading screen here. So um, if you're heading out to the wild, best be well prepared. So, uh, let's see, I can use a rest. I want to see my Pokemon. Um, let's see here. Uh, I want to see my... Because, wow. I got, like, so many po... I got, like... It's not that, not that much of a Pokemon here. But at least... At least it'll do. Which, of course... Uh, I'll probably, uh, I like to do shopping, which, which I can go ahead and, uh, buy this one, um, which, yeah, right now, just like the, the 25. Alright, well, there goes my money. Oh, yeah, I don't have enough money, because I just used it. Well, at least I'm at 95. Alright. Let's see here. Uh, let's talk with you. I heard there are Pokemon you can only spot at night. And sometimes they'll just appear quietly with no warning. Pretty creepy if you ask me. Yeah, definitely. When you hear the sound like that, it's pretty scary. 
Oh, okay, I'll take this one. Thank you. But yeah, uh, good to know we... Yeah, nice to know uh, we got more. Alright, I'll go ahead. Wait, what? Did he? Oh, he saw me. Are you kidding me? Oh, jeez. Okay. They don't want to... Okay. Okay, I guess I'll see you later then. Best to run back there. As I was trying to, like, catch the Geo dude, which I want... Which... I feel like I, which I, which I want to get more Geo, Geo dude because I think, because I feel like they can like help me out with, with more stuff. Okay, nope. Okay, you see nothing. All right, I got it. All right, you can chill. You don't see me. Just mind your own, just do what you're doing. Oh geez, okay, if I do that, he would see me, he will kind of like look at me and see me immediately. Okay, that's pretty annoying. Uh, I mean, I could, like, battle. Like, I can actually battle him so I can grab what I want. Alright, there you go. I got it. I got it this time. What? No! Are you kidding me? Well, it looks like we have no choice, but we'll have to fight him. Alright. Oh, this time we get the flame wheel. Let's see what flame wheel do. Whoa! Okay, that is so cool. Okay, you just use mud slap, which is kind of super effective. And I'll do like I'll do rollout. Okay, so he's gonna use tackle. Uh, maybe just an amber like the normal one. Oh, okay, I just killed him, but or what was it? Her, because it shows a her, but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay because so at least because at least I'm 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 trying to level my Pokemon's up. I do have another Geo dude with me, anyways, which is actually pretty nice. Which I do want to make sure I like fight some of the, the poke fight some Pokemon's, so that way. Uh, I can't, so that way I can, um, you know, uh, sure, level my Pokemon up, that's what is up, but also I want to grab more Pokemons before, like, anything happens to them, but I'm not gonna get more of a Starly, so I'm just, so I'll just leave it alone right now. Okay, hopefully some, oh no, we have, we have two Geodude, <laughs> that's actually pretty fun, we got two. All right, uh, we'll do a strong one for the, for the rollout. Is he good? Okay, no, he's just looking around. Looking around again. Okay, good. Uh, I'll do mud slap. So I can just slap him with the mud. Okay, well, I kill him again, but that's all right. Because... I'm sure there's another one somewhere. Which it's which this is actually gonna be lovely, be pretty nice. At least don't worry about those birds, cause 
Because when they see you, they'll just run away. There you go. Just slide down like that. There you go. Break that one so we can have a black tumblestone. That's actually a good thing to do this. So yeah, I'm just right now looking around, just want to like capture any of uh, the strong Pokemon that we can get. Alright, which I'm looking around right now. Alright, well there... Oh, I don't see what this thing is gonna do. But maybe I'll- but I'll go ahead and battle it. Pretty cute, but I'll just battle it. And we'll do like a... Tackle. Alright, use Absorb. Oh my god! Are you- are you serious? Just took- it just took my HP, like, down to 3 HP. Did you see that? Ah, oh, I used to absorb again. God dang it, now Geo did it. Ge yeah, Geo did is now down. Alright, well... Quilava I, is what it's up right now that I, that I got with me. Alright, quick attack with the strong one. Go ahead and take, take it out. <laughs> There we go. Defeated it. Alright, there we go. Oh. Yeah, now it's at 19, which is nice. Pretty sad that now it's out like... That Geodude, yeah, Geodude is now fainted. Which I want to figure out the way to get back up there. Because I want to like go to the tent to rest up. Like, I want to rest it up so I can, so my Pokemons can be happy again. Wait, what are you? No, you're Starly, okay. Never yeah, mind. I thought I would see something cool. Alright, there's a huge one. Which, ouch! Okay, uh, I didn't see it coming. Oh, uh, I better leave. I better leave. <laughs> but yeah, I try to. If you try to take him out, I think it's not gonna work out. Oh, okay. Hello, I just saw someone up there, which I'll probably talk to later. Which, cool thing about it in my own free time when I was leveling up, I did found Eevee, which which I wanted to get him, but sadly he just ran away during a battle. I would have been able to catch him after I fight it, so I can catch it and have it as a partner. Would have been nice. But sadly, no. Alright. Uh, yeah, they're both 15. I'll do like the, the zoo bat here. Let's do Zubat Hero. So I'll do Bite, so I can bite it. Alright, there we go. Alright, fine. Run away like a coward. Alright, I'll try to throw this. Alright, let's try with... Um... Uh, um... Uh, Buzil. Let's see. Buzil. Yeah, there we go. Yep, I don't know why said a different weird word all right ouch it bite me i'll use a swift at you okay one more hp and then you'll be done okay down to the death okay quick attack there you go
Whew, that's a relief. Another one who are now at 19 levels. Alright, that's actually a good one. Alright, I do... I think I'm supposed to go, like, over there. It's what it looks like and what it sounds like to me. Alright, so I'm right now just running around just to uh, find something. I wish I can make myself way back to the, the heights. You know, I can make myself way up to the the the, the camp here because if i when i go to the camp i can um uh, i can rest up my pokemon because it's already a bit damp and i have to go like the other side in i like i have to go all the way up Okay, wait. Yeah, the... Uh, yes. I can go there. Okay, that's actually a good one. Okay, I thought I was gonna have to figure out run all the way there. But, you know what? I'm thankful that... That we don't have to, like, go all the way. Probably kind of like I did for my other previous video. Like, previous, uh, series for my Let's Play. But, uh... But, uh, well... Alright, better, yeah, just, yeah, just want to keep my eyes out from those, because I know they can do any, because I know they can do anything to attack me. And wait, that's, oh, I just camped myself here, but that's okay. At least I'm glad I, like, uh, go there to heal up. Oh, all right, so which way is it? Okay, it's this way. It's what it looks like. Because I've been here before. And it's like over there where those trees are. And I see some path which I'll, pro which I'll probably go like... I can if I can yeah just slide down like that there you go we don't have to worry about going through an extreme I like the I like how the the way when Reed just floats pretty funny and pretty cool if you ask me So, Teed Water uh, Dam is what it says. Alright, let's. Alright, let me get. Oh. Alright, let's. Alright, watch out. Okay. Whoa, look at that. We got the huge one. I just saw the huge one. Okay. Whoa, looks. It's evil right here. Whoa, what the? How did that hurt me? Did I slip on something? Okay, I don't want to get hit because if I do get hit, it'll be pretty. It'll be pretty bad. All right, we're here at the heartwood. Okay. Oh, oh my gosh, we got a side duck. Okay, you know what? I actually want him. Uh. Okay, I think it's the. Okay, it it is a female. No, I don't want to run away, but, uh, I guess... I guess I'll go ahead and, uh, catch it. I do have 90. I feel like I'm supposed to fight it first. I'll just say him, even though side- even though it shows the female one, but I'll just- But I'll just say whatever I- Oh, he escaped from the ball. Okay. Uh, we'll I guess we'll just fight him, man. Flame wheel, which oh, which I for which I was gonna say I I don't think could do that because it has water. Because I'm like standing on the water. 
because that's what it looks like right here right now. All right. Okay, let's do a quick attack on the strong one. All right, use this one. There we go. Dude. I'm sad I didn't get the... Oh, at least we get another one. Oh, there you go. This is much better. So I'll do a rollout. Hopefully that didn't kill him. Okay, a little bit, but uh, it's, it's honestly not that bad. Uh, because what I wanted to do... Okay, well, now one of them just fainted. Thanks a lot to the side duck. Uh, I'll, I'll use a Geo, dude. Alright. Oh, really? It killed him immediately? I didn't even know. Alright, well, I do have, like, a... Okay, I do have this. I have a Zubat. Okay, I'll go... I'll kind of go through the strong one, but I, I don't want to accidentally kill him. Okay, which falls to the death. But it's fine, because this time, I will get this. Okay. I got this. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Why can I not get you? I don't understand. I don't understand. Why can I not get it? I do want to get the sight, dog. Alright, I get I'm I guess keep using it, I guess. Cause it would be nice if I can have them. I don't know if it's be Okay, there we go. Okay, I caught the side dog. Alright, thank you. Pretty sad though, because my Pokemons are now fainted. Which I think I'll get a heal up when we get somewhere close. Alright. Oh, I can't go up. That's sad. It would be nice if we could really go up. Like, look, I'm literally close right here. But... I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna- I'm just gonna go back there. I know we just came here before, but, uh... <clears throat> but I just wanted to rest up my Pokemons. And you know what? I should probably head back. Because now I got Psyduck, I actually want to, like... I just- I want to, like, use him. I... Here, Lavington, you can take a look. Okay, I got Geo, another Geodude with 10, but I got Psyduck or at like uh, 15, it looks like. Alright, that's actually good enough. Alrighty, yep. I'm just gonna skip it. Uh, I'm gonna return to the village right now. All right, now, now we're back here at the Jubb Life Village. So that way I can go ahead and uh, have Psyduck with me. All right, I'll, I'll move you. Uh, let's see. I got so much Pokemons with me. So I'll, I'll put this Psyduck right here. Okay, I don't know what that does, but, uh... I do want to see what he's got. Because I want to see what Psyduck has, which, if I want to... If I want to look... Alright. Let's check out the moves. Got Bubble, Confusion, and Water Pulse. Okay, so that's what he... So that's what he used. Alright, that's actually pretty nice. Alright. Uh, yep. Let's head back to the Heights camp. And now I'm back here. 
So now I got my Psyduck with me. Not awesome. I'm actually I'm happy glad I'm doing this because I want to catch some Pokemon that I like that is similarity from any of uh, the shows, the movies. Which, uh, three years ago, I watched uh, Poke Pokemon Detective Pikachu, the movie one, which I got so happy and excited for, for that movie to come out. And I actually liked it and enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, it's been... Yeah, crazy that it's been, like, uh, three years ago. <laughs> wow. Because that was, because that was, like, in, that was, like, May of 2019. So it's been three years ago. And, um, hopefully, if I see, like, Eevee, Pikachu, Charizard, or Charmander, anything that I'm familiar with, I can catch it and I can use it as my, t as my team for my, you know, my partner team for my Pokemon. Because I would really like that a lot. And, um, I, uh, don't mind me. I'm just running. Um. Uh, Alright, I'm not doing anything to you. You can, okay, ow! Okay, you don't need to be that aggressive. I'm not doing anything to you. Hey! Oh, let go of me. What are you doing? Whoa! Okay, you try to charge at me. Okay, I gotta run before, or else he'll kill me. Okay, come on, Re. Okay, I don't like the hill when it's like so steep like that. Oh, are you for real, Re? All right. My gosh, that was crazy. Okay, what is this for? Oh, that's just more of a side duck. Which I'm good right now. Because I got what I have with me. Okay, I should I should go. I should definitely... Yeah, I'll definitely do go on this path. Okay, so I think this is the new, another battle. Hopefully, I'm... Well, I don't know. I, I don't want to say hopefully, like, during a battle, because... Because I feel like I'm not, I don't have any of my Pokemon leveled up yet. And I feel like something is going to be coming up. So I'll, I'll kind of explore around just to look around. Um, see what's what's up ahead and what they what they have. You know, just a little bit right now. I do have more of a, like a, a Pokeballs with me. I don't, I think I have enough more of it. Uh, let me check here. Um. Yeah, I only got seven to potion, revive. Oh, I only got four. So, um. Yeah, that's what it looks like right now. What I thought I'm, I'm like, good to go for me. But I do want to play this on my own free time to, like, level up my Pokemons, though. I just want to say that. I'm Leon the Pearl Clan, the warden to cleave your Lord of the Woods. And you, I've already deduced that you've come here to be Cleavor. I'm right, aren't I? Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerful, awesome Cleavor has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was almighty to know divine power. But whatever it was... It struck my lore and left them imbued with awesome might. So I must turn you away if it might pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. I'll I'll do anything. Oh, such earnest desire to meet mighty Cleavor. I have to admit, I'm struck by your passion. But well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I've been told in no uncertain terms by Iridia that I am to let no one near Cleavor. I will fight you off myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now while you still can, or face the wrath of my Gumi. I'm, I'll take you on. You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your own safety. How sad you are. Go, Gumi, and see if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. And now we're having a Pokemon battle. Here we go. 
so I got Psyduck. Oh, we're both at 15. All right. So we got Bubble, Confusion, and Water Pulse. Okay, well, let's do that. Let's do like the, what is it? A bubble? Yeah, bubbles. Oh, it's not very effective. So, uh, oh, jeez. Okay, at least not that bad. Uh, how? I'll do confusion. This should do, this should do the thing. Yeah, there you go. Critical hit. Okay, another A set. A set spray. Okay, let's do the water pulse. Oh, it's not that much of a damage. And Psyduck is already down. But I do have another Pokemon with me. At least. So let's, I'll have Geodude out with me. Alright, fight. And, uh, let's do... Okay, I'm, I'll go for Iron Defense. So that way, if I get hit... Ah, oh, but even though it defends me... That doesn't make any sense, dude. Ugh. Alright, well, let's just do this one. Alright. We got Gumi. Battle decided. All right, one of we're getting there. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering, a nice heaped helping of his two favorite foods served up. With respect by his loyal wandering, that's me, of course, is usually enough to please him and suit the pricklist of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give any offerings now. Not with the way Cleavor is repaging and running amok. There's nothing that an outsiders like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor Weirdeer and their cohort drew on my almighty no own power to protect Pokemon and people alike, so it's said, it's by their grace that our claim that any of us still lives in, the, his, in vast issue today. Iridia, what are you doing here? As you say, Cleavor has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid this strength presents a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, could that bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Clever means so much to our clan. I'd hope we could bring this situation under control ourselves, not throw our hands up and ask some outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. If more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan, and the Galaxy Team. You, stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you Galaxy people actually fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quill our Lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. Very well. Leon and I will gather foods that please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him proper offering. As for you, find a way to quill his frenzy even if you must search every corner of vast issue. Our phone is beeping. Now it enables us to return base camp an instant. Like, a, I'll press X and consulting the map, which I probably did that before. All right, well, now we're done uh, during the battle. The Frenzy of the War, okay. Which it's all the way at the, at the Fields Lane camp, which let's go there. So yeah, here we are back here. 
I'll talk to you in just a second. Let me go ahead and rest just a little while. That's what I have to do. So, uh, yeah, Pokemons are now happy. All right, now we can ta talk to Laventon. So, yes, I want to talk to you, Laventon. Good to see you, Ri. And how is your surge into Koevor going, swimmingly I expect? Oh, is that so? Now that's quite the tidbit. So a serving of his favorite food would normally make Koevor quite agreeable, is that it? I need to mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along too, dear boy. And with that, we'll be sure to, we'll be sure to do something like this. Because, yeah. Um... Because that's all, because that's what we're, we're actually going to be going through right now. <laughs> Alright, I'm just checking right now. So according to the information, you were able to learn from Irida and Lan of the Pearl Clan. Were this a normal course of events, that friends Clevor would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder. Is it possible that the aromas of some other components of these foods might combine in a way that could not only calm Clevor, but draw him back from this frenzy? But by your own report, even Clevor's warden, who, walk, who looks after Clevor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It would be a fool's gambit to get close enough to offer him food. Hmm. Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help us. Eureka! We'll simply have to throw the food. You've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, Ree? Maya suggests you take Clever's f favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemons. Um, uh, makes sense, I guess. Thanks. Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill and Pokeball crafting to shape Clever's beloved foods into ball. Then throw them to achieve the same calming effect, but from a fair. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself. As for what to call these yummy projectiles, well, how about tea, tea, how about tea time balls? Put puts one in mind of the nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Why wouldn't you simply call them Laventon balls, Professor? <coughs> oh my! With the name, it would sound like I'm the one being launched at our, our frenzied friend. In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary food stuff, correct? Then you should go get to Granty Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Granty Arena, best set up for, for from the high camps, eh? All right, as as they as they said before, I'll be sh I'll be sure to I'll be sure to do something like that because, well. Let's just say this this will be the the case if you ask me. But yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, head outside. Oh, there's my right here. My my, that galaxy hall is one finding build find or redo. My my, that galaxy hall is one fine building even from the outside. The galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh yes, I came because I had some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on though. Let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? I spoke to Wardier about what's been going on. I told him how you've been tricking all over the field lands, seeking our way to Quill Clevor's Renzi. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl Clan. 
just some wanderer who fell through a rift into this world. And hearing that, well, you could see how he responded. I trust you, mate. I trust you appreciate it. Wardius found you worthy, you see, which means you need a flute like we have. Am I dissimilating for him, Maya? This is very important, so listen well. That's a Celestica flute that May just played. It's a pressure. It's a precious tool that can be used to call on weird deer, so you can ride upon him. It's said that Celestica flutes were gifts from a mighty snow itself, and now this one's yours. And there you go. Thank you. It's not that grand a gesture, really. I can't play the flute for the life of me. See if you can play that melody. All right, opened up the ears and uh, it just comes towards me. And mine play from Weird Deer. Mind plate. Now use the Celestica flutes wisely. Gallop across the land with the great weird deer. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quill at Granty Arinda, haven't you? With Rendir, you can gallop across the field lands in no time. So we can press plus to summon a Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert with the wild Pokemon's attack and avoid falls. Alrighty. I'll keep that in mind. So like this. Ta-da! We can ride. Woohoo! We're riding. Alright, that was actually pretty fun. If in case if you're if you're gonna ask me this question. Because that actually looks pretty fun here. So, uh, nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. I hear you have the array ability to dash over hill and vow on the back of the Pokemon, yes? Well, why not try your hand, hand at the Pokemon, or at the Balloon Rays? It's a game I've invented myself. It's really sim it's simple, really. You just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst, say, 17 balloons, well... That's an impressive start. You can find me here anytime, so let me know whenever, whenever you feel like testing your skill in a balloon race. Alright. If we're gonna do this, then I say we better do this. Ride a Pokemon and smash through balloons, ride, 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 and burst them all. If you, okay, yep. How about a kid, wanna play? I'll give it a try. There are a there are a total of 30 balloons on the course. Let's see how many of them you can burst in 45 seconds. Now get out there and get bursting. Alright. 3, 2, 1, and go. So I, so I push... So. Ow, someone just hit me. How dare you. That's not nice. Oh, it's those Pokemon. Like the Geo dude. Okay, don't want to move it. Let's see how well I can do. I might not do that great, but. But at least this is just for fun right now. Because right now I'm just I'm just dashing. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm at 24. I only got 24, so it's not that bad. Welcome back. You burst 24 balloons. Not bad, not bad at all. For someone's so skill, skill, I'll offer this as a reward. And two springy mushrooms. And what do you know? You beat my target of bursting at least 17 balloons. Well done, you. 
Alrighty, yay! That was that was actually my first try doing that. You can take part in or you can take part in balloon races in other places as well. This race is the easiest of the lot. Let's see if you have what it takes to challenge them at all and raise your next skill to the next level. Alright, so okay, that was pretty fun, actually. That was actually not that bad at all. So I believe I'm supposed to go to like a grand he right there. Because that's what it looks like that we're supposed to go where we're, we're supposed to go. Not goo. Well, what why does that have anything to do with the goo and then go? I have a hard time troubling words. But you know what? I'm going to go ahead and um, end this episode here. I'm going to save this for the next part. So, um, yeah, this walkthrough is actually turning out pretty well. Um, you know, let's just say I'm doing pretty well from, like, what I'm doing from the battling. But uh, not only that, um, off camera, uh, I need to, like, I'm going to have to go level my Pokemons up. And, uh, you know, I just want to level up my Pokemons. Maybe I'll get to, like, 20, 30, somewhere in numbers like that. Cause I, cause I feel like I need more levels to, you know, to defeat any of the, the, the battles in Pokemon. But, but yeah, that's about it. So thank you all so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you do, do me a favor and hit a like button. If you're new to my channel and want to see more videos and content, do me a favor and hit a subscribe button to turn on notification bell to be notified. So that way you will know when I can post more videos on YouTube. And feel free to let me know down in the comments below. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye!